welcome back to my channel crochet and more with Vicki Jo I'm so happy that you could join me today and I hope you're all having a great day so today I want to teach you a new stitch and this one is called the waffle stitch um, you may have seen this before and it may be called a different uh, they may have a different name for this stitch but I know it as the waffle stitch so on this particular um, piece here that I crocheted, just to give you an example of what it looks like, I hope you can see it from here, good lighting, but it actually looks the same on both sides, pretty similar. Um, it's a very nice stitch, I think it would be good for a blanket. Uh, maybe even a scarf for when it gets cooler. Um, I'm sure you could probably even use a lighter weight yarn. On this particular yarn, I use the Premier Basic. And this is in the color of bright blue. And it's a four weight. And um, it's a little bit heavier. So I'm sure you can probably use it in a lighter weight yarn, depending on what you're making and how you want it to drape. But anyhow, I wanna show you this today, and this is a one roll repeat, so it's very easy, a very easy stitch to do. So let's get started. So today I'm gonna to use, in demonstrating this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Big Twist. It's another value yarn, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. It's a four weight. And I will be using it in, let me see, what's this color? Mushroom. Okay, so this is a multiple of three. So you're going to make your slip stitch, however you want to do that. And then you're just going to chain three plus three plus three until you get the length that you want. So there's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I'm going to do twenty-one stitches and then you're going to add three stitches to that. Okay, one, two, three. So it's three plus three for however long, whatever project you're making and however long you need your chain to be. The drape on this is very good depending on the yarn that you use and it's a very easy stitch. So our first roll, we're going to skip the first two. So you don't want to count this one, but you're going to count this one and this one one two and in this third stitch you're going to work one single crochet and then you're going to chain one and you're going to work one double crochet in that same stitch okay and then you're going to skip two chains again one two and in the third stitch you're going to put one single crochet chain one, one double crochet, all in the same stitch. Then you're going to skip two chains again, one, two, and that third chain, the same thing, one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Skip two, one, two, that third chain, one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And you're going to repeat this all the way to the end. Skip two, third chain, one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Skip two, one single crochet, chain one, 
one double crochet, one, two, in that third one, gonna put one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. get to the end you're going to have three chains left you're going to skip two and in that very last chain you're just going to put one single crochet okay so in this last chain here one single crochet and then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work okay. so in row two you're going to skip the first single crochet which would be right here Okay, and then you're gonna skip the next double crochet, which would be right here. So you have this single and you have this double, and right here in this chain one space, you're gonna work your one single crochet, you're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna work a double crochet. Okay, then you're gonna skip the single crochet and you're gonna skip this double crochet. And inside this chain one space, you're gonna work your single crochet, chain one, and you're gonna work a double crochet all in that space. Okay, and you're gonna just keep repeating this all the way across. You'll skip your single crochet and your double crochet. Inside this chain one space right here, See that chain one space? You're gonna put a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip the single crochet, skip that double crochet. Inside the chain one space, you're gonna put a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. You're gonna skip this single crochet, this double crochet. Inside this chain one space, you're going to put a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. You're just going to continue repeating this. Skipping the single crochet, the double crochet. Inside this space right here, you're going to put one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Okay? You have one more here. You're skipping that single, you're skipping that double. You're going to put a single crochet inside the space, chain one, and a double crochet. You have one single crochet left right here in that chain one turning, where you had the turning chain, you're going to go in there and you're going to end it with one single crochet, okay? And you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. And that's all you do. And then you're going to repeat row two. And you're going to keep repeating row two all the way until you get the desired length of whatever you're making. I'll do one more time with you. So we're gonna skip this single crochet. We're gonna skip the double crochet. Say single, double. You're gonna put one single crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And you're gonna do this all the way across. Skip that single, skip that double. So you have a single and you have your double. You're going to have this space right here, which is your chain one space, and that's where you're going to work your single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Okay. Very simple, very easy pattern. One roll repeat. Skip your single, skip your double, go into this space, do a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip your single, skip your double in that space, 
work a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Okay. Skip over to that space. You're going to put a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. So what makes it easier is look for the loop, look for that chain one space, and just go straight into that and make your single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Look over here to your next chain one space, put a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And then that last chain single crochet and that very last or the turning chain I'm sorry you were going because here's your single crochet so your turning chain you are going to put one single crochet chain one and turn your work and then just repeat it all the way across the same same thing it's very easy stitch if you uh, don't remember how to do that you can always rewind it and go back to the beginning and watch it again but it's very easy I don't think you'll have any problem with it and I think it's a very pretty stitch very nice you can make a very nice blanket afghan there's so many possibilities with this stitch that you can make so thank you for joining me today I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and remember that Jesus loves you, and so do I. Bye for now.